Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze the natural transmission heat transfer in a triangular cavity. So it is a triangular cavity. It is filled with air, and its one side temperature is 300 Kelvin, and the top, and the two other remaining sides having temperature of 310 Kelvin. So we are going to analyze the natural convection heat transfer inside it. So let's start. Drag the fluid flow fluent in the project schematic window. Start with creating the geometry in Nancy's design modeler. Now go to units, set the unit as millimeter. Select the XY plane. Make the sketch normal to the screen. Now go to draw toolbar. Select the polyline. Draw half of this triangle. Right click and select open end. Now put the dimensions of this half part. We are going to make the each side of this triangle as 100 mm. Now we are going to create the other half of this triangle. For this we are going to use the modified toolbar. In the modified toolbar select the replicate option. Now select all the two sides. Then right click and select end or set origin as handle select the origin as the reference point now you can see that it is copied now right click and select flip horizontal the selected geometry lines has been mirrored then right click and select end. And this is the other half of this geometry. Then click on generate. Now go to dimensioning and put the dimension of the second half. We could also make the three lines, but this is a way to so this is a way to show you another method so that you can be familiar with all the tools of this and this design modeler. Now we are going to create the 2D surface. For this go to concept tab and select surface from sketches. Select any part of the sketch then click on generate. This is the 2D surface generated. Geometry is now complete. Now we are going to mesh this geometry in ANSYS meshing workbench. Close this one. Open the meshing workbench, right click and click on edit. Right click on this mesh and insert a sizing. Hold the control key and select two edges of this triangle. Then click on apply. Select the type as number of divisions. Enter the number of divisions as 100. Right click on mesh and insert another edge sizing. Select the two halves of the top surface and put 50 number of divisions to each. Now right click on the mesh and click on generate mesh. The mesh cells are not uniform. So we are going to now change the sizing. Turn on the adaptive sizing option. Select the resolution up to 7. 
hash resolution then click on generate mesh there is some improvisation now we are going to add further refinement to it so insert a refinement select the face then click on apply then generate the mesh there is a better distribution now the previous one we are now going to increase the level of refinement now keep this missing now we are going to add the named selections select the faces and select is that name it as hot wall one click on okay then select the another side name it as hot wall two then select the two edges of the top surface then name it as cold wall the meshing is complete check the name selections okay now close the meshing now we are going to update this mesh to the fluent solver right click on the mesh and click update now here you can see the tick mark now going to open the fluent database to the surface selection select the double precision then click on okay this stance is plain dark pens as we are going to analyze the natural convection so we are going to add the gravity acceleration due to gravity go to models and select the flow model Select the viscous model as laminar flow. Click on OK. Turn on the energy equation. Click on OK. Now go to materials. Select the air. We are going to. change the density of the default air change it to incompressible ideal gas this is most important in case of natural convection analysis then go to cell zone conditions we need to check air has been assigned as the flow material or not inside the domain Now go to boundary conditions select the cold wall click on edit put the temperature as 300 kelvin for the cold wall which is normal atmospheric temperature and the and at the hot wall the temperature is 310 kelvin put the temperature of 310 kelvin to hot wall 1 and hot wall 2 now go to methods Change the gradient as green gas cell best. Go to monitors 
and select residuals. Decrease the energy residuals up to 10 to the power minus 60. So that the energy equation will be take from more time to solve. So the solution will be accurate. Now go to initialization and select hybrid initialization. Click on initialize. Open the calculation activities. Select the auto save option. This step is important if you want to save for save the solutions iterations and uh, you want to generate a time step animation of the solution. This step is important. Set it as 10 iterations, then click on OK. Now go to run calculations. Go to run calculations. Enter the number of iterations as 1000. Then click on calculate. Now the iteration process will begin. It would take some time. Calculation is now complete. Iteration is complete. Now, you can see there is not much fluctuations in this residual versus iteration graph. Now, quit this solution setup, server setup. Now, open this CFD post processing results to see the results. Results of this natural convections. Insert the new contour. Select the fluid domain as the surface location. Select the variable as temperature. Set the local range. Enter the number of contours as 100. Then click on apply. This is the temperature control around the fluid domain. Let's modify the scale bar. Go to animations. Select the time step animations. As we have saved it in auto save option. So here we can observe the variations of the temperature. This is the solution animation obtained. Similarly, we are going to observe the velocity variations using a contour. Select the location as same symmetry 1, variable as velocity, increase the number of contour, select the local range and click on apply. This is the velocity variations. And this one is temperature variations. You can also save this to contour image. Now you are going to insert a velocity vector to observe this natural convection properly. Here you can see the formation of the air molecules are going to making a circular path here after being heated up by these heated walls they are going to top wall then cool after getting cool they are again returning to this bottom wall you can save this velocity vector image now we are going to another add a streamline. Select the surface streamline option. Select surface symmetry one as the surface. Click on apply. Let's in add two number of points so that we can watch the streamlines properly.
this is a single streamline and this is a double streamline you can see the this is a circulatory motion of this air inside this fluid domain due to the temperature variations and density variations the air is rotating inside this fluid domain with, with this let's conclude this demonstration if you have liked this video then hit the like button comment or if you have any doubt and subscribe to our channel if you are new thank you keep learning and keep exploring